Good morning. Today, we are going to discuss the last topic or the last competency for first quarter. We have today solving problems involving quadratic function. For this topic, I will be giving you three illustrative examples. Now, let us proceed with problem number one. Problem number one, the number of guayabano fruits produced by each tree in a guayabano orchard depends on how densely the trees are planted. If N trees are planted on a hectare land and each tree produces 900 minus 9N guayabano fruits, we will be answering three questions here. Number one, you need to represent H of N, wherein H of N is the number of guayabano fruits produced per hectare. For question number two, how many trees should be planted per hectare in order to obtain the maximum yield of guayabano fruits? And then the third one, what is the maximum yield of guayabano fruits? For question number one, the number of guayabano fruits produced per hectare must be Describe by the function h of n. The question is, how are you going to represent h of n? Based on the problem, as you can see here, n will be the number of trees planted in a hectare of land. And then 900 minus 9n is the number of guayabano fruit each tree can produce. So, knowing that N is the number of trees in the land and I-900 minus 9N is the number of guayabano fruits each tree can produce, how are we going to represent now the function H of N? Any idea? Okay, very good. H of N will be, re will be N multiplied by 900 minus 9N. It is because N is the number of trees and 900 minus 9N is the number of fruits. And for us to be able to identify the number of fruits yield in the hectare, we need to multiply the fruits in a tree with the number of trees. Did you get it? Again, H of N will be equal to N, the number of trees, multiplied by 900 minus 9N, which is the number of fruits per tree. Then we will be simplifying this one, so it will become H of N is equal to 900N minus 9N squared. How did we get this value or this expression? Yes, we simply use distributive property. We have N times 900, that is 900N, and then we have N multiplied by negative 9N, that is negative 9N squared. So this means that the number of guayabano fruits produced per, by, per hectare will be represented by the function H of N is equal to 900N minus N 9N squared. For question number two, you are asked how many trees must be planted to obtain the maximum yield. And for the third question, is the maximum yield of guayabano fruits? These two questions here has something to do with our first answer. So this is the number of fruits. The question is, ilang puno ang kailangang i-plant to get the maximum yield and what is the number of the maximum number of guayabano fruits? Since in the function, our quadratic term is negative 9n squared, which means that the value of a is less than, is less than 0, it means that if you are going to graph it, the graph will open, the graph will open downward. Now, what does it mean? It means that the vertex here will be at its highest point or maximum point. And since the vertex is at maximum point, it means that the value of k is actually the highest value or the maximum value. So in relation with our maximum point, which will represent the number of trees and which will represent the maximum yield of guayabano fruits, meaning to say which will be the H and which will be the K. Okay, so H will be the number of trees and K will be the maximum yield of fruits. 
Remember, our H of N is the total number of Guyabano fruits that will produce. And since this will be our vertex, then the value of K will be the maximum number of Guyabano fruits. And the question is, when can we get the maximum number of Guyabano fruits? Of course, it depends on the value of H, meaning to say, it depends on the number of trees. Again, the number of fruits depends on the number of trees. Since in the function, H is the number of trees, we are now ready to answer number 2. So, how many trees should be planted per hectare in order to obtain the maximum yield of Guyabano fruits? Again, to get the value of H, we have it is equal to negative B over 2A. Meaning to say, we need to get the value of A and B or A, B, and C for us to get the value of H. Where are we going to get the value of A, B, and C? Definitely, we will be getting that from our function. And based from here, based from our function, the values of A, B, C are... Yes, our A is negative 9 because this is our quadratic function. So, a quadratic term, I mean. So, the letter A or the value of A is negative 9. And then, this is our linear term, 900. And therefore, the value of B is 900. And since we do not have a constant term, it means that the value of C is 0. Again, in our given function, A is equal to negative 9, B is equal to 900, and C is equal equal to 0. Now, let us get the value of H using this formula, substituting these values. H will be equal to, you have here the sign, the negative, it will be constant there. The value of B is 900, so we have negative 900, and then 2 is constant also, and the value of A is negative 9. If we simplify, it will become, this will become negative 900, and this will become negative negative 18. And if we divide the 2, that will be equal to 50. H is equal to 50. Since H refers to the number of trees, let us answer the question here. How many trees should be planted per hectare in order to obtain the maximum yield of Guyabano fruits since H is equal to 50? Therefore, Therefore, 53 should be planted per hectare in order to obtain the maximum yield of Guyabano fruits. And to answer question number 3, what is the maximum yield of Guyabano fruits? We are referring with the value of K. So we will be using the equation 4AC minus B squared all over 4A. We will be substituting the values of A, B, and C where our A is negative 9 and our B is 900 and our C is 0. If we simplify, this will become 0. So the remaining here will be negative and then we have 900 squared that is 810,000 and 4 times negative 9 that is negative 36 and if you divide this to negative 810,000 divided by negative 36 Yes, it is equal to 22,500. And what do we mean by K equals 22,500? It means that the maximum yield is 22,500 Guyabano fruits. So, anong ibig sabihin ng ating problem? Makaka-yield tayo ng pinakamarami, which is 22,500. And it will happen only if we are going to plant 53 trees in one hectare. That is how are you going to answer problems involving quadratic functions. Let us have the next example for problem number two. A Kalamay Buna manufacturer finds that the revenue generated by selling X units of well-packaged Kalamay is given by the function R of X or R sub X is equal to 80X minus 0.4X squared where the revenue R of X is measured in pesos. So again, kanina, we do not have the function. But in our in this problem, the function is already given. And the function R of X is the revenue expressed in pesos. Revenue means 
Yes, ito yung kikitain ng pagbebentahan ng kalamay. The questions here are, number one, what is the maximum revenue? And then for number two, how many units should be manufactured to obtain the above revenue? So again, in relation here, our quadratic term is negative. The graph will be opening downward. It means that the vertex is at a maximum point. Therefore, the function R of X, which will be the revenue, will have its maximum value. And for question number one, you are asked for the maximum revenue. And for number two, ilan yung kailangang maibenta para makuha yung maximum revenue? In relation to our function, which will be the H and which will be the K between number one and number two. Yes, number one, you are looking for the value of K or the maximum revenue. And for the number two, the number of kalamay to produce, the maximum revenue will be the value of H. I hope you get it. So let us see. Since in number one, we are going to get the maximum value, we are going to use the value of K. So that will be 4A squared. 4AC minus B squared all over 4A. We are going to substitute the values A, B, and C. Now, let us look at our function. Looking at our function, what is the value of A? Yes, the value of A is negative 0.4. And what is the value of B? Yes, the value of B is 80. And what is the value of C? Yes, the value of C is 0 because we do not have a we do not have a constant term. So by substituting the values, our A is 0 0.4, we do not have C, so we have 0 and then the value of B is 80. And then again, the value of A is negative 0 0.4. Let us simplify again. This will become zero. Mawawala na yan. That's why we have negative here, there. And then if you have simplify 80 squared, that will be 6,400. And if you multiply 4 times negative 0 0.4, that would be negative 1.6. And if you divide the 2, negative 6,400 divided by negative 1.6, that would be equal to 4,000. Now, what does K equals 4,000 mean? You are looking for the maximum revenue. What does it mean? Yes, therefore, the maximum revenue is 4,000 pesos. As mentioned in the problem, the revenue is measured in pesos. So, ang pinakamalaking pwedeng kitain nila is 4,000 pesos. Now, ang tanong, kailan sila kikita ng 4,000 pesos? Ilang units ng kalamay ang dapat nilang maibenta? That is the question in number 2 and we are looking for the value of H. Again, the value of H can be determined by the equation negative B over 2A. And by substituting the values, again, we have B, that is 80, and then we have A, negative 0 0.4. If we simplify, we have 2 times negative 0 0.4, that is negative 0 0.8. And if we divide negative 80 by negative 0 0.8, 0 0.8, the answer is 100. What do we mean by H equals 100? Yes, it means that 100 units of well-packaged kalamay should be manufactured to obtain the maximum revenue. Again, ano ang pinakamalaking pwede nilang kitain sa pagbibenta ng kalamay? 4,000 pesos. At kailan nila kikitain ang 4,000 pesos kung makakabenta sila ng 100 units of kalamay? Very good. For our last example, let us have problem number 3. A rectangle has a perimeter of 100 cm. Find the greatest possible area for the rectangle. Again, a rectangle has 100 perimeter, has a perimeter of 100 cm rather. Let us find the greatest possible area for the rectangle. So our given is that the perimeter is 100 cm. Knowing that the perimeter is defined by the equation 
2 multiplied by the sum of length and width and using the value 100. Meaning to say the perimeter is 100. This is the formula. We just substitute the given value for the perimeter. Now let us get length plus width. What are you going to do here? You need to divide both sides by and if you do that, we will be having length plus width is equal to 50. Knowing that the sum of the length and width is equal to 50, we can now represent our dimensions length and width. If width will be represented by the variable x, how are we going to represent the length? Yes, knowing that the sum is 50, therefore, the length will be represented by 50 minus x. The one that we are talking here is the area, so the variable y will serve as our area. And as you all know, the area, the formula for area is length times width. Where did we get this? Again, the area is our y, so we have our y. Our length and width, our length is 50 minus x, and our width is x using the representation here. That's why our function, if we simplify, will become distributive property. We have 50x and then we have negative x squared. Meaning to say, the area is represented by the function y equals 50x minus x squared. But the one you are asked for the problem is the greatest possible area. The greatest possible area means to say what value we are looking for. Yes, very good. The value that we are looking for here is the value, value of x because we have here the word greatest. Meaning to say, ang hinahanap natin is the maximum possible area. And the maximum area, as we all know, is represented by the variable k. So, we, if we are going to get the value of k, we are just going to substitute the values here. Now, where are the values of a, b, and c? Yes, our a is negative 1 based from here. Our b is 50. And again, our c is 0. If we substitute the values, there you have it. And then if we simplify, that will be equal to 0. 50 squared is 2,500, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. And if we divide negative 2,500 by negative 4, the answer is 625. Now, what do we mean with K equals 625? Yes, it means that the maximum area of the rectangle is 625 square centimeters. As simple as that. So we are done with the three illustrative examples. That is all about the competencies for quarter one. Congratulations. We are all done with the competencies in quarter one. I hope everything is clear. Thank you for watching.